Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. This is episode 9. I hope you guys are having a good week. Today what we're going to be doing is an unboxing. We've got a new product here today. We're going to get into it, talk about it a little bit and what's new from Fluke, and try to do a few more of these unboxing videos in the future. So, let's jump into it. So, what we have here is the new Fluke FLKIRR1-SOL. It's an irradiance meter. It is for looking at the sun, or not looking at the sun, but measuring the sun's radiation and uh, telling you when you're set, setting up uh, solar panels, if you're setting them up at the correct angle and what the efficiency is and help you install those. So, what do you get with it? You get a quick reference user manual, um, comes in every language under the sun, and probably each page that you would care about is only a couple pages. So you do see, you get product overview, kind of pointing at that, and then here's this. and a little bit more, okay? So, shows you where to you put your batteries. We'll get into that here in a second. You do get a little strap, and you get a case that comes with it with both a belt loop and sides to clip that strap onto so that you can use that. The case is included. Okay, when we open it up, we can see a couple batteries. So it's the batteries, and the meter itself. And then I think one other thing. And this guy, which I'll get into it and discuss what this is here in a second. So what comes with this new irradiance meter? As you can see here, I've got it kind of lined up for you. I'm not sure if it's gonna come in this cardboard box, but that's what I got it in. Um, you might get it in something else, but beyond that, I think everything else will be what you get when you get yours. You're going to get the unit itself, the IRR1-SOL. You're going to get a couple of batteries, or a few batteries. You also get an external temperature sensor that you can plug into the top. You get a case and the user manual. So let's get into it a little bit. The first thing I like to do when I get a new Fluke tool is pull this thing off the cover. It's a screen protector. You're welcome to keep yours on, but I think it doesn't let me see the screen as well as it is, and I want the full performance out of that screen. You should probably pull this one off because we're going to be measuring the sun's radiation, and we don't want anything encumbering or uh, impeding uh, how much radiation is getting into the sensor so that we get the most accurate readings we can. I'll let you guys watch me in fast forward motion what I'm going to do to get the batteries in. One thing you will notice is I am using Fluke insulated hand tools. If you didn't know we have these, these are really slick. So anyways, check those out. Okay, so We've got the unit turned on and we have the uh, batteries in. Now let's go through the features. Okay, so when you turn it on, you can see it'll probably be in this mode. It'll be in Celsius. If you prefer Fahrenheit, um, hold down, you see that instruction right there? Hold this button down for two seconds. One, two. See it starts blinking, hit the up down arrow button, goes to Fahrenheit, and now we're good. So we're getting temperature and we're getting our radiance reading. <clears throat> Where's the temperature coming from right now? The temperature is coming from this probe right here. So maybe if I put my finger on it, we can get it to go up. So we can see it's climbing, okay? So you've got that. Um, Radiance reading, if we hit the function key, we get into the angle. So if we change the angle, sorry about that reflection. Let's see if I can do this here. I set it down flat on the table. 
you can see the angle go to zero. You also get this degree thing up here. This is your compass. So pointing true north would be at zero degrees, so through or 360. I don't think it'll go to 360. Yeah, zero. So that would be pointing true north. Um, so that gives you the direction you're pointed um, and the angle. So if you go out and you hook on, you clamp, set it on top of a uh, solar panel, you can see the angle at which you're going to do it. Now, if you do get over 20 degrees here, the uh, compass will turn off. So I learned all this looking at the user manual. Now, obviously, if you set it flat somewhere and it does not zero out, you can hold this button for two seconds and it'll zero out. Okay, we already talked about this temperature probe. There's also a little connection right here, and you can take the external temperature probe, same little guy right here, and plug this in. And then you could put this either on top of or underneath your solar panel and get your temperature reading. So anyways, for those of you that are thinking about installing solar panels or already are installing solar panels, Leave in the comments below if you think this is a tool that you would use or you would need. Um, if there's any questions I didn't answer about this tool, please leave them in the comments below as well. And if I don't know the answer, I will find the answer and I'll get back to you at some point. So hope you have a great weekend and thanks for watching. Take care.